a meeting of the Mount Kenya Political Forum, Pushing for Unity Talks, met. And they've agreed on a six-point grand plan for the region. Now, Central Kenya has listed the position of deputy president, shared positions in cabinet, parliament, and parastatal positions to be reflective of its numerical strength as its irreducible minimum for any presidential candidates. Now, the Unity Talks has now roped in Peter Kenneth of the Democratic Congress Party and former Kiambu Governor William Kabogo as it gains traction. Samogina reports. The Monday meeting was convened after a similar meeting to bring together the Mount Kenya leaders in Embu was postponed. The Embu meeting was put on hold indefinitely in what sources claimed was infiltration and a plot to hijack the session by interested parties from the region for personal political gains. With the Embu meeting shelved, the leaders under the Mount Kenya Political Forum continued to consolidate their base and expand their reach. The Monday meeting saw two new entrants into the fold, Peter Kenneth of the Democratic Congress Party and the former Kiambu governor, William Kabogo. Sources within the meeting indicated the leaders agreed on a six-point grand plan for central Kenya. Key among its demands to any presidential hopeful courting the region is the deputy president position and cabinet and parliamentary positions that reflect the numerical strength of central Kenya. The meeting resolved that the position of deputy president coming from Mount Kenya region is not negotiable. That despite no one from the region being blocked from vying for the presidency, that will be their own individual pursuit. But instead, the generally accepted consensus is that the deputy president must come from Mount Kenya region. On the same breath, the region wants the sharing of positions in the executive, legislature, principal secretaries, state corporations and ambassadorial positions to reflect the voting strength of the Mount Kenya region both in terms of numbers and portfolio balance. The meeting resolved that the unity of purpose for the Mount Kenya region leaders was paramount and cannot be compromised irrespective of which presidential candidate the leaders support, their political affiliation or which political party one supports notwithstanding. Likewise, the leaders are adamant that no party from central Kenya will fold, but instead embolden the parties whose leadership emanates from the region as custodians of the long-term security of the people of the Mount Kenya region and their interest in the future governments. As such, the parties are to ensure they front credible and strong candidates at all levels in the Mount Kenya region to improve the strength and quality of central Kenya in national affairs and strongly represent the regional interests. The meeting also resolved to enrich the core pillars of any engagement with any presidential candidate, this being security of the Mount Kenya people's life and property, equitable representation, fair share of resources to the counties in the region, share of development resources from the national government commensurate with the region's voting strength and long-term deliberate investment on the agricultural sector. An expanded meeting of central Kenya leaders has been planned for Nevasha next week to consider, amend and adopt the six-point agenda and lay out the implementation plan. Samogina Citizen TV, Nairobi.